Hello everyone and welcome to Where is Zer, IGN's weekly show where we find Zer and we tell you what he's selling and take a look at his inventory together. My name is Ty Guy Travis and today you can find Zer on Earth. He's in the European dead zone here over at the Winding Cove. Let's go and pay him a visit. All right, once you touch down on the European dead zone over here in the Winding Cove, you're going to want to hop on your sparrow. Go up this little hill, hill here, and then you're going to go through a cave, and you'll find uh, Zur hanging out on a ledge. And here's Zur. Let's see what he's selling, everyone. May we speak? All right, so this week he's got Arbalest. Uh, this is quite a good linear fusion rifle that can uh, pierce uh, through shields and has a bunch of advantages. It has previously been extremely important in the meta. I would argue it probably still is, and it probably likely will be at some point in the future. So you should definitely pick this up if you don't have it. We've got the Frosties. These are a, a very iconic uh, uh, hunter exotic, and you should definitely have this in your uh, collection if you don't have it already. Uh, the good news is this is a pretty decent roll. Uh, usually anything over 66 with an exotic, I would say, is pretty darn good. Uh, this is a 67 overall. It's got very high strength. It's got decent mobility. Uh, and, and the only thing that's really low is its discipline. So uh, you could do a lot worse uh, with rolls for this exotic. So if you don't have one this good, grab it. Then we've got Ursa Furiosa. This is a fantastic exotic for Titans. Unfortunately, the roll this week is not very good. 62 is really not even good for a legendary, uh, much less a, an exotic. So I would just say probably skip this. It also, just on a personal note, has high mobility, which I kind of hate. So you probably can find uh, a better roll for this at some point or get one dropped to you. Uh, so you probably should skip this unless you really need it for collections. And finally, the Karnstein Armlets, another great exotic. Uh, this is a good one for Warlocks. And luckily, the roll is also good, 67 overall. 24 mobility, maybe a little higher than you might like, uh, or maybe a lot higher than you might like, depending on what, what your uh, Warlock build is. But the discipline is quite good. Really, the only issue with this one is, you know, the mobility is high, and what you lose is you lose resilience, you lose strength, and you lose a little bit of recovery and intellect there. Uh, so it's not a very well-balanced exotic, but if you have a, a uh, build use case for this where you need high mobility and high discipline, this might be for you, which is great. I will say, this is a melee-focused uh, exotic, so the fact that it has the lowest strength, the strength is its lowest stat, is a little unfortunate unless you can make up that, uh, that stat somewhere else on uh, your build. Anyway, those are the exotics. Let's move on to legendaries. First, we've got Chroma Rush. This is a decent uh, uh, auto rifle. I don't really like the the roll this week. Uh, Wellspring is one of my least favorite uh, um, perks, so I would just say probably skip this one. Whispering Slab, I feel like he sells this every week. This is not the best uh, roll we've seen him sell, so I would skip this as well. Grid Skipper, uh, I quite like pulse rifles. I think this is a pretty good one. And with Tunnel Vision and Frenzy, Tunnel Vision, which of course reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight, uh, is, is quite good. And then also Frenzy, being in combat for an extended time, increases damage handling and reload. So these are both perks that just make the weapon better to use and a little bit more deadly, uh, which is quite good. Combine that with the range masterwork and you've got yourself a pretty dang good roll here. So this is certainly one of my picks this week. If you're looking for a decent uh, pulse rifle, you could do a lot worse than this. Truth Teller, uh, this is not my favorite role for this weapon. I really like auto loading holster, but demolitionist is not great. And the real thing that bums me out is high velocity rounds and implosion rounds. Not really the perks you want. You want blinding grenades, you want spike grenades, you don't want these perks. So I would skip Truth Teller as well. Punching out, this is a pretty decent sidearm. Uh, maybe pick it up if you want it. I, frankly, I've seen better. Uh, rolls for sidearms lately uh handling is also one of my i mean i feel like sidearms don't really need the handling masterwork because they already do that really dang well um but uh feeding frenzy is okay unrelenting is really good uh for pvp uh so I, I would say um maybe pick these out i don't know this one's just just okay to me nothing to write home about seventh seraph saw I really like this weapon, and I like this roll a lot. Uh, auto -lo rolling, loading holster is probably one of my favorite perks for machine guns because the reload time is ridiculous, so it's nice to be able to put your uh, weapon away and then it reloads while you're stowing it. And then Vorpal Weapon, I mean, my main use case for machine guns is killing bosses, vehicles, guardians, uh, and that is what this perk makes you better at doing. So I would say that this is a very good roll. 
Um, also has high cal caliber rounds, ricochet rounds if you're into that, I'm not. And then it's also got a reload speed masterwork. Now admittedly, the reload speed masterwork is sort of at odds with the auto loading holster. So that's a little bit of a waste. But other than that, um, there's a lot of synergy here and I'm into it. I like this weapon. So this would be one of my picks this week. And then Frozen Orbit. I also kind of like this role. Uh, Frozen Orbit, I feel like he Zer also sells like it almost every week. One Quiet Moment is, of course, the worst perk in the game. Uh, opening Shot, though, very good if you are playing PvP, which if you listen to the show, you probably know. I tend to look at a weapon rolls uh, purely from a P PvP perspective. That's just my slant. I play a lot of PvP in Destiny. Uh, and it's also got auto loading Holster, which can be good. Uh, maybe not for uh, PvP, but just, just in general. Moving target is probably the perk I would pick, though, uh, because I'm a PvP guy and I like that. So with opening shot and moving target, you've got yourself a pretty decent weapon here. Um, and it's also got a range master work, which could be helpful. Maybe not in most PvP scenarios, but in some PvE. So this is decent. I would say probably mid-tier for me. Um, but if you're looking for a, a pretty good sniper rifle, you could do a lot worse. So there's that. And then finally, let's move on to the armor, uh, legendary armor. First, we're going to be looking at Titans. Um, Titans have, I believe, two rolls that are pretty good. Yep, there's two of them here. Um, the first one is the the, the Gauntlets here. Um, unfortunately, the mobility is really high, but this is a 63 overall stat roll. Generally, I would say 64 to 66 on Legendaries are really good. 63s are decent, and then anything below 63 is probably not worth really looking at. Um, so this sort of just meets the bar of of, you know, look at it, consider it. If you need mobility, uh, then this is a good option. But because most Titans, I would I would probably guess, don't need high mobility, this is probably not a very desirable role. Moving on to the chest piece, though, we fare a little bit better. 63 overall, which is, of course, uh, kind of the bare minimum you want on your legendaries if you're trying to do a, a powerful build. Uh, six mobility is pretty good. Strength is a little bit lower than I'd like it, and mobility is a little bit higher. But it does have great resilience and great intellect, which are two stats I enjoy on my Titans. So this is uh, not bad. Everything else, though, we've got a 58, we've got a 62. I wouldn't really look at these. Um, unfortunately, this 58 has very low mobility and high stats elsewhere, but it's just a little too low. You, you don't want to invest in, uh, in something that doesn't at least meet a 63 bar. So that's it for uh, Legendary uh, Armor for Titans. Next, we're going to move on to the next class. All right, here we are. Let's take a look at what Xur's got for Warlocks. All right, Warlocks this week, I believe. Yes, unfortunately, it's true. They did not get very many uh, good, good um, pieces of armor to look at. 59 here for the gloves, which are certainly not worth buying. Uh, 62 for the... Uh, chest piece unfortunately with low mobility and high stats elsewhere this is almost worth looking at but a 62 i really just can't recommend it at that level uh the helmet is similar except for it's got high mo higher mobility than i'd like so again i i probably would strike this one off the list and then over here with a 60 really just not looking uh, worth looking at so unfortunately not a lot for warlocks this week so we are going to move on and take a look at the hunter inventory all right, and let's take a look at the Hunter inventory. So I believe Hunters this week only have one piece of armor that's worth looking at. That is correct. So it is these gauntlets here. Uh, the reason I like these gauntlets, well, they meet the minimum threshold for me, which is 63. Uh, their mobility is very low, which is 2. Some Hunters like higher mobility than that, but if you don't, uh, this is a very good roll for you. I also like that it's quite well balanced aside from mobility, uh, so definitely worth taking a look at if you don't have better gauntlets. Um, unfortunately, the chest piece is at 60, the helmet is at 61, which, you know, nah, not really worth it, and then also 60 over here on the boot, so not a lot else to look at, unfortunately, but that that is it. Um, unfortunately, there's no standout armor really at all this week, except for a couple 63s, nothing really to get excited about in the 65 or 66 category, sadly. And that's it for Xur this week. Hopefully this was useful to some of you. We'll be back next week to take a look at his inventory again, as always. My name is Ty Guy Travis, and for all things related to Destiny and Xur, stick with IGN.